lawyers of Reddit, what was your oh shit moment in court? Not oh shit bad, oh shit I can't believe she said that. First jury trial, pretty serious charges. I'm cross-examining the alleged victim, and in answering my question she says, oh yeah, I lie all the time. Needless to say, I won that trial. Reposting myself from years ago, story from a friend of mine, he was defending a guy in court, don't remember what he was charged with. The main witness for prosecution was on the stand, and was asked if she could identify the defendant. She was scanning the courtroom seemed confused, my friend was already silently celebrating because if she couldn't identify him, he could probably get all charge dropped. As he was mentally adding this case to the win file, he happened to glance over at his client, who had just helpfully raised his hand to make it easier for her to identify him. Even the judge face bombed on that one. Never ask a question to which you don't know the answer. Prosecutor suggested to me client that the canned goods he had burgled were to be used to trade for drugs. Me thinking the idea ludicrous asked my client whether he has ever traded food for drugs. To which he replied that he once exchanged a frozen chicken for heroin. Needless to say, I didn't win that one. Sat in the public gallery at a bail hearing for a man accused of heinous crimes against a very, very young female relative. The judge started laying out the conditions of bail and one of them was to surrender his passport. Man turned to his attorney and said, loudly, words to the effect of, but you said I could fly back to my home country. The judge stopped himself, and revoked the man's bail. Hashtag X200B, edit, this post brought to you by the words flight and risk. Also, his home country was out of reach of extradition. Edit again, this was not in the USA. Every country has foreigners. A lawyer I used to know was in court on a work injury case. The judge asked his client just what is the nature of your injury? His client replied I can't raise my arm this high anymore, while she raised her arm up to show just how high she couldn't raise it. I was the defendant, representing the nonprofit that I volunteered for. The plaintiff was a 60-something grandma who was looking for a retirement settlement after falling out of her jacked-up pickup truck in our parking lot. The premise of her case was that our parking lot was in bad shape, it was, and that she fell into a pothole and broke her leg, which resulted in her having to take Coumadin and diminished her enjoyment of salads at the Friday night fish fry, no, really. It was going along fine, until my lawyer put up a photo of the pothole, taken the day of the incident, filled to the brim with water, after a recent rain. He asked the lady if she had gotten her foot wet to which she replied that she couldn't recall. He talked a little more about how perhaps if her foot wasn't wet, it might have been because she fell out of the truck and didn't really fall into the pothole. He asked again if her foot was wet, and she affirmed that yes, her foot was wet. The oh shit moment came when he went back to his desk, flipped through her deposition and read the part where she was extremely adamant that her foot wasn't wet. Then he did some fancy legal stuff. The case was thrown out and I went back to work. I was the dumbass that almost screwed myself. I had two charges in two different courts. I accepted the first plea which almost always carries probation but my plea didn't have that condition. When it came time to accept the second plea, the prosecutor didn't include probation because she assumed my first charge put me on probation. She said as much to the judge and me being a big dummy almost corrected her. My lawyer grabbed my shoulder and, I shit you not, told me to shut the duck up, she doesn't know. Opposing counsel was a nightmare. Everything late, his work was extremely subpar, and so forth. Accused me of lying multiple times when he had dropped the ball. During another hearing in which he did another dumb move, judge says I'm glad you are the last case on the call, and all of the other attorneys have left the room so they aren't here to hear me say that you are a terrible attorney. Person I was representing was on trial for assault in the third degree and DUI. In my state, A3 means you've assaulted an aid worker or police officer and is a felony. 
The allegations are that he was very verbally abusive to the officers and, at one point, kicked one in the face. We are sitting at the defendant's table and the officer is testifying about the statements my guy made to him, including some pretty horrific name calling. Out of nowhere, my client screams you're a ducking liar. Fuck you, you son of a bitch. We lost that trial. Another time, the judge asked a client whether anyone had coerced him into pleading guilty, and he said yeah, my attorney. I about shit my pants, but he laughed and said, I'm joking. No. I was just interning in court during law school but I'm a lawyer now. Fight in a club, someone had broken someone else's jaw and had six friends with him that insisted he had been identified wrongly because he never have a beard and the victim said he had a beard. They used a very specific phrasing to the tune of my friend doesn't have facial hair because he is a professional in the food industry and it would go against the regulations. After three of the witnesses had repeated the same exact phrasing, the judge stopped one to ask if he knew what a couple of the terms in that line meant, and the witness couldn't explain it. Defense lawyer got busted for instructing the witnesses. She'd also gotten the defendant to reject a plea deal that exchanged prison time for a fine and community service. I was at a hearing arguing that my client was wrongfully terminated because the employer failed to abide by the proper procedures. During the hearing a witness for the employer tried to offer documents that were fraudulently altered in order to make it look like the proper procedure was followed. I noticed the alteration. Opposing counsel quickly got that witness out of the room, and after a quick adjournment, my client got a large settlement. Watching a hearing when the defendant said I mean I did stab her. But it was a gentle stabbing. Not exactly in court. But I was defending a juvenile robbery case, where there was very little evidence. There was supposed to be two guys. But they only picked up this one kid, he had no stolen property on him, he was picked up like outside his own house, wearing different clothes than the victim had initially said. This kid was on the honor roll at school, his family seemed kind and were involved, he wrote poetry and played instruments. I actually believed it was a legit mistaken identity case. I went to meet with one of the kid's mentors for a character reference. And he exactly matched the description of the other robber. Sitting in court, doing some plea paperwork for with a defense attorney for a go-home plea agreement, where a person is released from custody and doesn't have to do jail time, we hear this KSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
Some in the gallery were his family and friends, gasps. The judge basically stops me and says I think you mean 30 days counselor. After which everyone, including the defendant, laughed at me. Edit because a lot of you are worried about this, the evidence was pretty weak and the facts did not bear charging anything other than the lowest level misdemeanor, which, in conjunction with this being a first offense meant that we were seeking two things primarily, counseling anger management classes, and probation. The intent being that any future problems can hopefully be avoided, and if not, we could stick the defendant with a harsh punishment the next time when we'd hopefully have better facts evidence.